All right, we are back with another Funko Pop review. And as you can see, we've got Lion King. Now, I'm super excited about these guys. I mean, I can remember when this movie came out back in the early 90s. I was a kid. I remember vividly remember seeing this in theater. Loved the movie then. It's still one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. I actually just watched a couple weeks ago with my son for the first time, and he really enjoyed it too. So, super excited about Disney doing, or Funko doing, Lion King Pops. So when I saw these guys at my Barnes & Noble, grabbed them. First Barnes & Noble I went to had all except for Scar. So, of course, I went to the other Barnes & Noble, Barnes Noble that's uh, convenient to me, and they had a Scar, so I grabbed him. And I have the whole set. I'm very happy to have them. So we'll start off real quick looking at them in packaging. I know some of you guys are in the box collectors. So we'll start over here. I know you can't see all of them right now. I can't get them all on screen, but we will take a look at each one of them real quick. So we'll start over here with Pumbaa. There he is. Got nice art here on the side. There he is inside. He's number 87 in the Disney Pop line. Says Pumbaa down on the bottom. Over here, you got more of the window box, more Pumbaa on the bottom. Pumbaa right here. We have all of the Lion King pops on the back. They're part of Series Six in the Disney Disney line. More of that nice artwork here on the side, and then here he is on the top again. Okay, set him off. Here's his pal Timon. Again, just like your standard pop box. You got nice art here on the side. There's Timon in there, looking very, very nice. He's number 86 in the line. There he is up top. More of that window side. Timon on the bottom, Timon on the side, the back, and the top. And then we'll save Simba and Scar. We'll come over here to Rafiki. Here is Rafiki, and he really stands out, the colors on him. Uh, nice artwork here again on the side. He's number 88. There's the top of the box. There's this side. Again, the same back as all the others. And the other side. Very nice. Let's go to Scar. He also really stands out in his packaging, if you ask me. Very nice artwork here on the side. Love that picture of Scar. He's number 89. There's the top. There's the side. The back. And the other side. Very nicely done. And Simba. Very, very good looking. Nice artwork on the side. As you can see, this is Simba as a cub. This is not the adult Simba. He's number 85. Here's the top. Side. Back of the box. And the other side. So, they look excellent. Now, let me pull these guys out of the packaging real quick. And I'll do this quickly here. And we got Pumbaa. Let me get Timon out. There's Timon. Simba. We'll get Rafiki. And let's get Scar out here. All right, now let's take a look at these guys one at a time. Let's start with Rafiki. He is very cool looking. He really stands out, a lot like the Roger Rabbit Pops did. The colors on him really make him pop, so to speak. I mean, they really, really do. They're really vibrant. Love the blues, the yellow eyes, his nose. The sculpting on here is just fantastic. Love his walking stick with the bells. He's got his feet and then his hand that he's standing on. Very nice. He's got ears sticking out of his mane. He's got his tail, his blue butt, but just very, very well done. No paint issues on my Rafiki that I can 
see, which is not how it's going to be for all of these guys, unfortunately, but he is very clean. One of my favorite out of this first set of Lion King Pops, honestly. Really like the way he looks. Set him off the side, and let's go to Timon. And here is old Timon. He also looks really good. Love the hands on the hips. Love the smile. Nice teeth right in here. Love the browns. Nice, nice black eyes, big old nose. Love the hair on top. The ears are painted nicely and molded nicely. He's got his toes molded in down here on the feet. I'm not sure if those are coming across very well, but they are. There's his back, has stripes on his back. Let's see if I can get in here so you guys can see that a little better. There we go. Very, very well done. He looks awesome too. And again, don't see any real paint issues on him either. So. Very clean on Timon. So let's go to his partner, Pumbaa. Now Pumbaa, I really like too. The molding is excellent on him. Love his head. Love the, the tusks and the nose, the ears, the hair that goes from the top all the way down his back. His tail is nice and done. The molding is fantastic. The paint is, for the most part, okay. It's not quite as solid as I would have liked it to be on the nose. You can kind of see some of this color that they use for the nostrils kind of peeking through some of the pink here. And you got some brownish right here too. That's the only real paint issues I seem to have on him. Not that big a deal. It doesn't bug me. Love the gray they use down here on his belly. He looks good. And you get these two together. Alright, to my own stand up. Angle my camera down. Very cool looking. Very, very cool. Alright, set them off to the side. And let's bring out Scar. He may be my favorite from the from this first set of Lion King Pops. He just looks awesome. They've even got the scar painted right here over his eye. Not sure how well that's coming up. Let's see if I can get in here so you guys can see that. There's that scar. Very, very cool. That was the first thing I noticed when I got him. That little detail. Love the eyes, kind of half open. You can even see his teeth hanging out down here a little bit. The black mane. All the way down to his chest, on his tail. His black toenails. Very, very cool. The ears look good. No real paint issues on him. He's pretty clean. Love the way Scar looks. And he just is bigger than everybody else in this wave too, so that's perfect. Alright, last but not least, Simba. Here he is. Very cool. He looks fantastic from the front. Great molding on him. Love the pink nose, the smile. The ears look great with the little details in the paint here. Very cool. A little tuft of hair up here up top. A little, little bit of mane down here on his chest. Very nicely done. His feet are molded nicely. Now the issue I've got with, oh, and he's even got a little, there's like a little hole or divot right here where his mouth opens up, that's kind of cool. The issue I have with him is when I turn him around, his tail, if I can get in here on the tail, let's see here, focus, I've got all that paint there on the tail, that's not the right color. So that was kind of a bummer. At the same time, like I've always said, any kind of paint issues on the back of my pops, they don't bug me that bad because when I display them, I of course display them facing out. So I rarely see the back of the pops. So that's good. If it had been on the front where I could have seen it, I wouldn't have picked them up. But since it was on, is on the back, eh, it is what it is. It's not too bad. He looks really nice. Now this is the standard retail release of Simba. Hot Topic does have a flocked exclusive version of him coming, which I hope to get my hands on when it comes out. Can't wait to get that. It'd be my first flocked pop. I haven't picked one of those up yet. Um, would like to pick up a flocked rocket or and or a flocked lion-o, but 
I haven't really been willing to spend the the asking prices on them right now. So here is the whole set of Lion King Pops. They look really nice together. It's actually my first set of Disney Pops I've purchased for myself. I bought some for my wife um, that she's got, mostly princesses. But um, definitely, definitely happy I picked them up. I hope they do more from Lion King. We need an adult Simba, we need Mufasa, we need Nala, uh, the hyenas. All kinds of things they can do from, from Lion King. So I hope this continues with them. But if you're a Disney fan, Lion King fan, or if you're just a fan of good looking pops, definitely recommend picking this set up because they are really cool. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Lots of cool things coming to my channel. I'm closing in on 500 subs. Um, and when I do, I am going to do a little giveaway. Not sure yet what it's going to be. Probably will be pop related. That's my guess since those are the videos that seem to be doing the best right now on my channel. So if you guys have any suggestions which you like, might like to see me give away, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I will uh, definitely take them into consideration. So, see you guys soon.